Welcome back everybody, Steve here from TeshCon USA, bringing you another uh, tech tip. This week we are going to be talking about how to, uh, how to disable or remove functions on your, uh, on your SpectreDens 4. Uh, this is a, uh, just a simple setup uh, of the device. So there are lots and lots of different features uh, on the device. And some of these features you may not, be, uh, you may not really need to use. And if you want to make it a little easier, uh, either for you or for your press operators to find just the functions they need, uh, there's a way on here to actually turn off uh, those features and remove them from the menu. So then switching between modes uh, becomes much easier for your operators. So come on back and we're going to show you how it works. Okay. So we're going to show you how to turn on and off uh, features on the device. It's uh, simple to do. This time we're going to come to the, uh, the settings menu, which is right here. It has a gear icon. I'm going to press enter. And I'm just going to scroll down to the active functions and I'm going to hit enter. And in here, here's a list of all of the functions that are inside the device. So I can see automatic density, density CMYK, dot area, right? They're all in here. And it's as easy as selecting the one that you want to turn off. So in my case, if I know, uh, I just print uh, CMYK process all day long. I don't print any spot colors. I'm not going to need to use the new uh, SCTV function. I can hit enter and I just turned off that feature. Um, same for trap. If I don't measure trap on press anymore, uh, I gave that up years ago. I can go ahead and turn that off. Um, printing curve, maybe I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn, uh, turn off a bunch of things, slur and doubling, density graph, uh, espresso mini. Okay, so I turned off uh, quite a few uh, features that are densitometric related. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the menu and I'm going to show you on the functions menu now that, whoops, I'm going to show you on the functions menu now that I only have these four densitometric options available for me. And so it makes it, again, really easy for me to toggle back and forth and find exactly the features that me or my press operators use. So this is how you can do it on the device. If you want to uh, lock the device so that these, this list of features cannot be changed, you can um, set it up on the device the way I just did. You can connect the instrument uh, to your PC where you have the Spectra Connect software installed. Um, and you can open up the Spectra Connect software and you can actually disable the settings menu on the instrument itself. And then that means your, uh, your press operators, uh, they're gonna have just the features that are in this menu. Um, once this is set up, this is uh, also the area where you would set up your measurement conditions, um, you know, luminant observer, things like that. That would also be shut off. And so now the device is, uh, is kind of locked down. It's pre-configured for your, for your press operators. Um, to measure always in the same in the same measurement condition and with the same list of features Okay, everybody we wrapped up another tech tip. I want to thank you for watching and we'll tune in next time. We'll see you then